Hello everyone, it's Chris Pritt back again with a new topic in West Virginia Divorce. Today I want to be talking about life insurance. So what life insurance is a type of insurance that if one of the people dies, then generally um, somebody is going to be the beneficiary. So for example, if you, you might have life insurance on the husband or the wife and the other person might be the beneficiary under the policy. So that's something that you have a lot of times. Um, I've got life insurance. A lot of people I know, including other family members, have life insurance. A lot of people have life insurance, and sometimes it's, in, it's provided through the employer, and sometimes it's not. Now, one of the things that's always in, listed on the financial statement that you have to complete is um, life insurance. But the court makes a distinction between the types of life insurance. And there's a difference between whole life insurance and what we call term life insurance. Now, I personally have a term life insurance policy. So what that means is I pay a certain monthly premium and what, whenever, if I happen to die while the, the policy is in place, uh, the beneficiary under the policy gets a set amount. Now, what distinguishes it from whole life insurance policy is that the cash uh, life policy does not have any kind of value at all. So if it's if it's term life insurance policy, there's no way to cash it out. It doesn't have a, a current value. That type of insurance is not going to be factored into the equitable distribution one way or another. The, that is distinguished from whole life policy. A whole life policy, generally speaking, is a policy where it's it for our purposes of a divorce case is it's a policy that has some sort of cash value so in other words you pay into it each and every month and as you pay into it each and every month a cash value builds so that if you want to cash it out uh, right now or you cash it out at some point in the future it is going to have a value so what we do is we look at what the value of that policy is on the date of separation and let's say, for example, if you were to cash it out, the value of that would be $20,000. Well, that would be factored into uh, property division. If one person is keeping that policy, then, um, then they are, that is going to be considered to be a marital asset. And it's going to be, ha and it's, it's going to have to factor into property di distribution. Now, sometimes by agreement, parties will actually include uh, one person being responsible for the other person to be covered on their insurance. Uh, so for example, let's say you've got a, a situation where two people have been married for 30 plus years, one person has a greater income, it might be it might be negotiated in a divorce settlement that one person has to carry some sort of insurance on the other. So uh, that's just something that you need to be thinking about going into the future. So those are some basic types of life insurance uh, again, there's term life insurance and there's whole life insurance. And uh, depending on the type of insurance, it's it's going to be treated differently by the courts. Now, there are other policies out there that I'm not going to get into any kind of detail on today uh, because it's just, they're called different things. They're not called whole life. They're not called term life insurance. They're called other things. And But the, the general basic idea is if it has a cash value, then it's going to be considered in property division. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have any questions, feel free to send me an email or give me a call. Have a good day.